Do you know why people cannot understand Prophet T.B. Joshua? The hand of God upon that man's life is not a hand that ordinary men can interpret. You can't interpret it. How? How? You can't. That's why they give him all manner of name. So many preachers in the body of Christ where you think they have the power of God, they are local and um, they, are, they, are, they are not, they are, they are just lecturers. Lecturers. Deep color to deep. Sit down. If you criticize the man that he arranged miracle, look at it. The guy was put in the coffee and the power of God was moving. That's why the man of God is dead. That's where you know that after he's dead, the oil was moving in the congregation. People were healed. People were vomiting blood. Can I talk to the Pharisee and the Sadducee in the body of Christ who are just talkers without power? Every man of God without power is a comedian in succession. Can I preach here? Can I preach here? Sit down. If you criticize him that he was using something when he was alive, now his body was carried. People were vomiting blood. Power of God. You are alive. Nobody is falling down under your ministration. You are a dead man of God. You are a dead man of God. Ichabod has taken place. Jealous Christians who call themselves ministers of the gospel. I mean vampires in suit and tie. Hey, <laughs> can I preach here? The king called the soothsayers, the astrologers, come and interpret to me. This is what happened to we prophet who carry power of God. They are trying to interpret us, and the people trying to judge us are astrologers, soothsayers, comedians in suit, vampires in the name of holiness. I mean, confused Christians having the form of godliness, denying the power, empty pulpit without fire. The fire on the altar have died. The career of the fire have died. Their bones are dry. They are in the valley, full of dry bones, scattered about. Can I preach here? Say they lay hand and demon speak. Is he is the demon your elder brother? Why are you agree that a man cast out demon? How do I know you are genuine? When the hand of God is upon your life, people will not be able to interpret you. And when they don't understand you, they will call you names. When they don't understand you, they will call you names. You are not our God. You did not die on the cross for us. You did not shed your blood for us. You are not the owner of this work. God is the owner of this work. He's the one that we just the work. The last time I checked, you are not Jesus. You are not Holy Spirit. You are not God the Father. If you have nothing to say, shut up and keep quiet. Am I helping you? Am I helping you? Oh, am I helping you? Someone shut fire. Three things I learned about over Prophet T.B. Joshua or Sino Prophet T.B. Joshua's death. That those who hate you in your lifetime will not change their mind after you have gone. They will continue to hate you. So don't live your life to please them. And don't bribe them. 
and don't give a damn about them they are not your existence enjoy your life and go to heaven and when they get to heaven you will meet them while you say bye bye to them in hellfire number two lesson i learned about his death those that love you will stand for you in your death before your death after your death and after everything and those that are with you are more than the smallest generation of minute army of the ant fighting you don't give a damn about the minority fighting you because if god be for you nobody can be against you number three your legacy what you do in your lifetime will speak for you after your death continue to do good let them interpret what they want to interpret people have eye they have conscience and they can see prophet why are you talking i'm a prophet this is my lineage and i'm not ashamed are you hearing me someone shot fire someone shot fire Shot fire! Shot fire! Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody told me if you talk, you are going to inherit Prophet TB Joshua's enemy. I say I've already inherited it before him. I've already inherited it. In his lifetime, I've been talking. They've been fighting me, so you don't need. Don't even tell me I've already inherited it. I know them. No matter what you do, they can't accept you. This is one of the things I tell younger generation. You can't bribe those people who have built courtism around ministry. They have turned it to court. They have made their clique to look like heaven. Your clique is not heaven. Put the next scripture. Me? You see this me? My name is Joshua Ginla. They call me Ororo Master. In the day I will leave this at this mouth. We never fear any human being except God. Except God. Are you not hearing my voice? Do I look like a chicken? I, do I look like a chicken? I am small for the big wahala. If you don't talk, you will die. If you talk, you will die. So why not talk the talk and go to heaven? <laughs>